But we did actually uh, get started stacking early in March and had a great March, stacked over a million tons in the month of March. And that allowed us to produce uh, uh, just over 27,000 ounces of gold. Well, hello, welcome to Assay TV. Today, I'm delighted to be joined once again by John McConnell, who is the president and CEO of Victoria Gold. Uh, Victoria Gold are mining at their Eagle Mine at the Dublin Gulch property in the Yukon. It is the Yukon's newest gold producer, and uh, they've just released their Q1 results. And uh, John, uh, how has the quarter gone for the company? Yeah, it was a good quarter. Um... You know, we are a bit of a seasonal operation, so we've always said we won't stack during the three coldest months of the year, so January, February, and March. And if you don't stack, you don't produce as much gold. But we did actually uh, get started stacking early in March and had a great March stacked over a million tons in the month of March. And that allowed us to produce... Uh, uh, just over 27,000 ounces of gold for the quarter. So ahead of our internal budgets and uh, puts us on target to uh, meet guidance for the year. Excellent. I mean, you're, you're all in sustaining costs for, for, for those ounces. What, how are they looking? Yeah, I mean, again, you know, because we don't stack that first th quarter, but we still have all the same costs they're higher than they will be in the second half. So, at, you know, I think we were just over uh, uh, $1,500 an ounce, but, uh, you know, it'll be just the opposite in the uh, fourth quarter. We'll be down uh, below $1,000 an ounce. Mm. No, I mean, that's a very important uh, thing for people to note who are looking at these figures and might think that that 1500 looks a little high, but, but that needs to be sort of the different seasons needs to be factored in as you say you'll be down around sort of uh is it would you say a thousand a thousand dollars by the time yeah we're we're still guiding that uh we'll be between 1050 and 1175 for the whole year mm -hmm. so how's that uh, how's the quarter affected your cash position well we're in great shape for cash uh you know uh we actually made an early debt repayment of 20 million in January. Uh, so we're in very good shape. Excellent. And in terms of how that compares, how this quarter compares with the same quarter last year, how do they compare? Uh, yeah, in terms of gold production, we increased the production by 250% uh, quarter over quarter. Hmm. And in terms of the grade of the material you're, you're mining, uh, how's that looking? Yeah, we're running about 0.8 grams, which is a little above uh, reserve grade for the life of the mine, which is 0.63. Mm. In terms of strip ratio? Strip ratio was a little higher in the quarter. Again, because we take advantage of uh, not stacking and we actually mine more waste in the first quarter and then it balances out over the rest of the year. Mm -hmm. And in terms of your outlook for 2021, what are your sort of guidance figures putting out in terms of production? Yeah, between 180 and uh, 200,000 ounces for the uh, year is still uh, our guidance. Mm, excellent. Um, and obviously, you know, the, the production figures that you're, you're, you're producing at the, at the mine seem to be attracting attention of some other companies. I noticed that uh, you had a, a Kerr Mining have bought a large stake in the company. Do you want to comment on that a little bit? Yeah, it was a surprise for us, but, uh, you know, Coor has shown interest in Victoria. We, They wanted uh, to sign a CA and get into a data room and make site visits and do their evaluation. But of course, with COVID, uh, that was difficult. And, uh, you know, we also weren't ready to uh, let people look under our skirts, so to speak, until we had the ramp up complete and the mine running properly. Uh, but what they've done is they approached Ryan Mine Finance, who uh, used to hold uh, almost uh, 38%, and they've bought 17.8% of their interest in Victoria. So they are now our second largest shareholder. And uh, they've made 
it known that their intention is to acquire the uh, balance. Now we immediately put a shareholder rights plan in place so they can't go above 20% without management's uh, permission for the next six months. And they've essentially forced us to run a process for the sale of Victoria. So we've had a lot of interest, a lot of incoming calls, uh, you know, since the beginning of the year. So I'm finally phoning people back and we're signing CAs. Uh, we've opened a data room and, uh, you know, the mine shows very well now uh, that we're in full production. And then the other thing, uh, so that, you know, should Coor or somebody else uh, make an offer to buy the balance of uh, Victoria, we want to make sure they pay for all the, the exploration uh, assets as well. So we've just started uh, our exploration program at Raven out to the east of Eagle. Uh, we'll also get uh, a drill uh, at Lynx and uh, later in the summer, a drill at Rex Peso. So uh, we're going to uh, make sure they pay for every ounce on the property. Mm, absolutely. And that those exploration targets, I mean, in terms of their sort of potential size, how, how do they compare with, with, with Eagle? Um, well, you, it's hard to say. It's early days, but uh, certainly at Raven, you know, uh, you can flip through the sections on our website and you can, you know, just using the old polygon method, come up with uh, well over a million ounces pretty quickly. And we've only, uh, you know, we're going to start stepping out from the uh, center of the deposit. And uh, you, those grades of, uh, you know, gram and a half to two grams, you can quickly add ounces. So, uh, you know, we're planning uh, more than 10,000 meters of drilling out there this summer. Wow, wow. And how, how deep is it? We don't know. We've only drilled it to 185 uh, uh, feet and all or meters, and all of the holes were terminated in mineralization. So we'll also drill a few deep holes this summer. Mm. And I guess all of this uh, exploration, it can be financed internally uh, by, uh, by what you're producing at, at Eagle. Yeah, it's all financed out of cash flow. Excellent. So a very exciting, exciting uh, year ahead. And um, in terms of the the the, the money, the, the amount you're you're getting for your ounces sold, uh, the gold price heading in the right direction, I guess. Yeah, no, it's nice. Uh, you know, uh, this gold price uh, will cash flow well over a hundred million dollars this year. Mm, absolutely. So you're producing gold. You've got people looking to buy the company and lots of exploration um, uh, potential in the works. So, uh, I mean, what, what, what an exciting year ahead for the company. Yeah, no, it's lots of fun right now. Absolutely. And I noticed uh, on your website also people can, can, can look at, so there's some videos up there about, uh, you've produced a book uh, on the history of the Eagle Mine, some interesting stories in there. Yeah. There's the book there. Absolutely. And where is that available? Uh, Amazon. And I, there's some fairly hair-raising stories about some of the early early prospectors there, some sort of uh, Revenant-style uh, incidents, I guess. Yeah, you know, people ask me, why did you commission a book? And uh, it's because, you know, we've owned the property for 10 years, but there's been exploration and placer mining going on at Dublin Gulch for more than a hundred years now. So uh, there were lots of great stories and, you know, it also gave me the opportunity to meet some of the old timers that were working there, uh, you know, 60 years ago. Mm. And you and you guys have finally sort of brought the mine up to its full potential, I guess. Oh, we still got work to do. We, uh, you know, we're currently designed to produce 200,000 ounces of gold per year, but we have an internal project uh, to get to 250,000 ounces per year by 2023. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, we've got to optimize things now. Absolutely. Well, as I said, an exciting year ahead. Uh, lots of action over there at Victoria Gold. But thank you very much uh, for joining us today for this update. Great. Thanks, Leo.